Good morning. Today is June 18, 2014. Uh, we're just going to briefly touch up on yesterday's discussion, which was the stages of alcoholism. Uh, not the actual alcoholism itself, but how to treat uh, the best, best methods to treat it uh, in your own way, whether it being my method, which is to reach out and speak to other folks about it, or to uh, just kind of go to AA, which uh, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. It didn't work for me, like I stated. Uh, to me, it just felt like a, a, a large get-together chat room type of thing. Uh, so it didn't work for me, uh, but uh, that's one way of doing it. Uh, Again, the other way is like my method. Uh, um, if it's severe enough, uh, another method would be just to uh, call a rehab center, which you can. Uh, if you go to page 7 on www.clearviews.info, which is my website, uh, you can find a uh, rehab center for uh, every state uh, here in the United States. So just click on the state and then click on the rehab, uh, rehab center uh, that's listed for that state. So. Uh, the, those are the three main methods. Uh, of course, my method is really not a main one, but I consider it a main one because it has worked for me since June of 2013. So, uh, you know, we kind of went through the uh, signs in the beginning, and uh, I want to also touch uh, on those. Um, you know, uh, a sober today, by uh, quitting today, if you're still drinking, by quitting today, you will have a uh, better tomorrow. Uh, it will get better from today on. Um, if you stopped, let's say, uh, a week ago, you'll notice that each and every day it has gotten better for you. So a sober today uh, will make for a better tomorrow. So remember that and uh, uh, try to adhere to that uh, saying. Um, always have to remember that nothing is impossible because if you think for one minute, just one minute, that stopping to drink is impossible for you to do which I did think I thought I could never go day by day without any kind of alcohol in me uh, it is not impossible but you have to have to have a strong mind without a strong mind it will be impossible you have to today again just say uh, I am done I, I need to clean up my act I need to clean up my life my personal my professional and my health and the only way to do that is to Admit that you have an addiction to either alcohol or drugs, and from today on, start uh, eliminating those substances. And it's just not a matter of just saying, it's a matter of doing. So you need to start doing that, and uh, it will work. Um, you just never, ever can give up. Although a sober today makes for a better tomorrow, and nothing is impossible, you cannot give up. Because you will find, um, it could be a week down the road, that Jesus... You know, this is not working for me. Uh, I, I don't see big differences yet. You will. You might see more negatives in the beginning because you're going through that uh, uh, where, you, you know, you're urging so bad to have the alcohol, all the drugs. Uh, so you, you feel that it's a negative thing by quitting, uh, but it's not. Nothing is impossible, so you just need to keep going. And please don't ever, ever give up. No, you can never give up, okay? And um, God forbid you started a week ago and uh, four days later you fell off the wagon. Like I told you in previous videos, pull yourself up, dust your knees, and start all over. You need to get back on track. Getting back on track means to start all over again, whether it being with my methods, AA, or uh, if you went to rehab and you spent 30 days there, came out and started drinking or drugging again, you need to uh, figure out your next course of action, which might be going back into rehab. So uh, get back on track, and uh, certainly uh, that is one way of doing it. The most important one is, and I'm going to show you the picture again, is uh, because if we don't change your addiction, if you don't fight it, you don't conquer it, uh, and you keep drinking and drugging, one of these two things can happen, or probably will happen, either you're going to be arrested for either drugs or alcohol or either you will be laying right there as a dead person or you might have taken another life and you don't want to do that so you got to clean up your act and and go accordingly um, 
that that's pretty much uh, how that really works as far as the stages. Um, I'm just putting my stuff in order here so we can continue. If, uh, if there's any questions on anything that I've said so far in any of my videos, contact me, please, 631-599-0218-1844-393-9355 or R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. You can also go to my website at www.clearviews.info. Go to page, uh, I think it's under comments. You can leave a comment there. Or you can go to my contact, which is on the first page. On the left-hand side, go down about halfway, you'll see a contact form. You can contact me directly through there. Uh, so, uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, we talked about uh, the uh, stages. Um, so, once you're into maybe about a week or two, you're going to start actually feeling better. You're going to start feeling stronger. But most importantly, because it is a motivating uh, factor. You're going to actually feel better about yourself. You know that people are feeling better for you, so that's good too. It motivates you, gives you something to strive for, because each day that you make another day sober is an accomplishment. So if you keep going and never give up, each day is a stepping stone. So continue doing what you're doing. Um, again, if you fall off the wagon, dust your knees, start all over, but don't give up. Never, ever, ever give up. You need to keep going, okay? And then um, you can actually count the days. I mean, on my website, on the bottom, uh, in the footer area at the bottom of the website on the first page, or any page for that matter, you'll see a count countdown clock. In my case, it's a count up clock from day one to today. And it, it actually tells you the, um, the days, hours, minutes, and seconds that I've been sober. You can do that with a generic calendar on the wall. You can, uh, with a journal, you can do it on, on your uh, uh, laptop or whatever, but you can count those days. And if you do count the days, like I told you in the yesterday's video, uh, you probably will count up to about 100 days or so. And then after that, it's more of an accomplishment if you go back periodically, go back 100 days later and you'll be up to 200 days. And next thing you know, you're up to a year. and um, uh, you, you just feel like you've accomplished so much because beating an addiction of alcohol or drugs is probably one of the biggest accomplishments other than flying to the moon uh, because it's uh, the addiction, the, the, the body just craves for it and you, you need to now counteract it. You're fighting this addiction and you're doing it with your own body so it's on your own indirectly but you can reach out to people like me people like AA, people like rehabs, reach out to them and have them give you guidance. Uh, and nobody's going to tell you how to do it, but they're going to tell you what's worked for them. Most people like myself that are doing videos like this, or people in AA, or people at the rehab have been uh, 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 infested with addiction some, some time or somewhere, whether it be alcohol or drugs, so they do know what they're talking about. So continue doing uh, what you're doing and fight that disease called addiction whether again being alcohol or drugs so you, you're doing real good you're motivating yourself you're working really hard uh, once you reach maybe about a month or so seek another person with addiction and it's not to seek that person to that or to uh, drink with no it's to seek that person to to combine two strengths of beating this addiction so that one person can tell the other person of what works better for them and maybe the other person can actually feed off that so it's, it's, it's almost like playing a game of uh, baseball or hockey and you want team members because there are so many people that are addicted so if you all come together and, and bump your heads together you will conquer it so much easier so do that and seek another alcoholic uh, try to uh, avoid um, like I said so many times in previous videos, try to avoid hanging around in bars. Uh, you know, even going to barbecues can be tough because you're going to see other people possibly drinking those beers. But you know what? They do make, um, if, if, if you crave the flavor so much, they do have non-alcoholic beers. Me, I never drank for the taste. I drank for the effect. So I'm not sure how you are going to uh, um, comply with um looking out for what you want to do but for me 
it was always the effect, never the taste. So I don't miss the taste of beer at all. I hated the taste. I love the effect. Um, so that's that's something that you might want to also uh, look into. So stay away from the bars. Uh, you know, if you do go to a bar for a social gathering, club soda, uh, Seven Up, just tell them to put a little straw in it, and they can even drop a little olive into the club soda or something. Um, not that people really care whether you drink or not, uh, but if you feel more comfortable having people uh, accept you more into their crowd by maybe you looking like you're drinking club soda ginger ale always works. Um, like I said, um, we, we all are in this, this big bubble of addiction. Uh, probably, I would say about 80% of people out in society have addiction and um, maybe only 20% admit it. Uh, why don't you be the one to admit it? I'm, I'm one of them to admit it. Because I do have an alcohol addiction, uh, but I'm, I'm fighting it. I didn't beat it. I probably never will beat it, but I'm fighting it. I have my shield up, and I know what to look for. And I'd be more than happy to share any method that I have used for myself with you. I gave you my contact information, so all you need to do is contact me. Um, also on, fa on Facebook, not only do I have my personal page, but I also have a uh, uh, Clear Views page on there. So it's under clearviews.info. Uh, a lot of my stuff that I discuss on these videos uh, that's on my webpage, you'll also see right there. So if you don't have, um, for some reason you can't get onto my webpage, go to Facebook. Um, like always, I always promise everybody that I'm going to keep it down to 15 minutes, uh, which I'm going to do because I don't want to lose your uh, curiosity and your attention span um, and bore you half to death. So, um, I'll break it down real quick one more time is uh, if, uh, if you're quitting today, congratulations, keep it up one day at a time. Don't rush into it. Just stay sober for today. Tomorrow's a whole nother day. Worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Stay sober for today. If you have been uh, um, fighting this addiction, congratulations, you're doing well. Uh, if you fell off the wagon, Pick yourself up, dust your knees, and start all over. It's 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 nothing to be ashamed of. That only shows you're human, and uh, you do have um, weaknesses. So, uh, just because you fell off the wagon, don't think you have to stay off the wagon. Get, I mean, just uh, pick yourself up and start all over again. So that's that's what we're going to do. And uh, you know, congratulations to anybody that has been or is thinking about uh, sobriety. Uh, if if you're um, looking to, to maybe start next week. I will post a couple more videos before I go on vacation. Um, but if you feel the need to talk to me, by all means, uh, talk to me as, as uh, quickly as you want to. Um, never, ever, ever give up. And just remember, um, nothing is impossible, nothing at all. You are the captain of your ship. Whatever way you want to sail your ship is how it's going to happen. So if you want to go down the uh, sea of alcohol uh, or the drugs, turn your ship that way. But if you want a clear, smooth sailing on that ocean, um, you need to quit. You need to fight your addiction. And I pray that you do. I hope that you do. Uh, I think about everybody uh, that possibly will be viewing this each and every day. And I just wish I had a face about uh, behind those people that are viewing this. I just don't. Uh, so I do welcome, if you go to my, my website at www.clearviews.info, please go there and uh, leave a comment so I know uh, if I at all have affected you or if you have any recommendations to make my videos or website better, please do so. So with all that said, I thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I'm going to um, just say, please stay sober. Please. Okay? talk to you guys real soon. Take care. Have a great day. Nothing's impossible. Don't ever, ever give up and stay sober.